This is Surf 110B Austin Powers. A surf map for Counter-Strike sourced by the Invoker. Invoker, one of those two. I've been needing to cover surf maps for a while and I like this one. It's super easy, super weird, and has a certain charm to it. I first played this map outside of its native game on Team Fortress 2, so sadly I didn't get to see the full features of this map, but today that changes. I've actually never seen an Austin Powers movie all the way through. I used to frequent a forum where he became a meme. It started after someone posted a news article about a man inserting two hammers into his anus, and a user replied with, well I guess he was pretty hammered, with a picture of Austin Powers. I think that's how Austin Powers sounds. It was so funny the rest of the thread was filled with people trying to outpun each other with the Austin Powers pic. It got so bad, a moderator had to make posting the picture a bannable offence, saying if the user posted it, they would lose their mojo. There was an exception once a year when a moderator had their birthday, which was called Mojo Week. I sent an email to an address linked to the map, but it looks like the address is no longer active. Based on the Invoker's Game Banana page, it looks like this is the only map they've made and there's not much else to work with. Anyway, let's look at the map already. As we load in, let's read the message of the day. Looks like this is the second version of this map that was made available. It's a bit hard to read with this polka dot background. Before we start, we need to enter the commands to make surfing possible. These are SV Accelerate 100, SV Air Accelerate 150. I've seen different values for Air Accelerate, but I was pretty happy with 150. If we go to the right, there are some surf ramps with trippy textures that lead to some gun spawns. We'll need one for later. Each box has a teleporter that will take you to a spawn and give you a handgun. Starting from the left, you can get a K&M 45 Tactical, ES-57 Dual Elites and a Nighthawk 50C. This is the closest you'll get to a Counter-Strike item origins. Also the gun choices are mirrored for the other side. Now let's check the rest of the map out. I'll start with the Camper's Heaven course. I have to say this is a super easy map to surf. At the end of the path are two teleporters. One is a telly to the top of the spawn, The other takes you to an area outside of the jail. Notice the gold source foot sounds on this texture. For those unfamiliar with combat surf, the jail is where you go if you fall off the surf ramps, and the only way out is to either die and respawn, or take the teleporter when it opens up. This one has some windows to allow for sneaky sniping. There is also a button to activate the telly out of the jail, and a telly out for the campers themselves. As mentioned earlier, we need a gun to get to the later parts, so let's get one before checking the side paths.
Check out my sick moves. As you can see ahead, we need a gun to shoot the glass barrier to proceed. This area gives us some better weapon. Teleporters like before, and a live feed of the jail. An interesting touch. Going up this ramp will push you towards a slightly trickier but not really hard surf section before taking you to an underground lair. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my underground lair. I have gathered here before me the world's deadliest assassins. Gentlemen, welcome to my underground. I have gathered here before me the world's deadliest assassins. These lasers actually don't hurt you. Also, this is a dead end. For now. In the other room is three teleporters, two code inputs, and a live feed again. I'll come back to both these rooms. First, let's look at the jail balcony. It takes you to, well, the jail balcony. I remember in the TF2 version you could just rocket jump up to here to get out. There's some glass around the edges too. Would probably give us some epic gunfights in a full server. Okay, now it's time for secrets. I had to look at some shonky 2008 YouTube videos to work these ones out. First off, at the spawn find two invisible buttons here. And here. Now follow the surf map all the way to the entrance to the underground lair and aim for the wall rather than the floor. You'll teleport to the top of the tower thingy. Now in the laser room, in between the two pits is a door that will open if you push use on it. But it didn't seem to work for me. 
based on another video, it might be because I was just clicking on the door and there's actually a really tiny, tiny button you press instead. Finally, let's look at these keypads. The code for the right one is 214. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Now, evidently, my cycloptic colleague informs me that that can't be done. Uh, can you remind me what I pay you people for? Honestly, throw me a bone here. What do we have? This will lock the room and throw some explosives around campus heaven. The second keypad on the right is 2169. Nice. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly elaborate and exotic death. All right, guard, begin the unnecessarily slow-moving dipping mechanism. This will trigger lasers in the jail. Let this be a reminder to you all that this organization will not tolerate failure. And I think that's about that for the map. So that's Surf Austin Powers. I think I've learned nothing from making this video, and I hope you have too.